Welcome to the video series on research methods and analysis by data and research. In this video, we will discuss how to do independent sample t-test using JAMOV and interpret the results. We will use an independent sample t-test if the independent variable is in nominal or ordinal level of measurement. The variable is at the ordinal or nominal level because it has categories. Such variables are also called categorical variables. The independent variable will be in two categories here, as in sex. We will have only one independent variable. But we can have more dependent variables. The dependent variables should be in interval or ratio level of measurement or they should be continuous variables. One example of a dependent variable can be resting time. The dependent variable has to be normally distributed. We will categorize dependent variable scores based on the independent variable. There are two categories here. The resting time of males and resting time of females. Scores of the dependent variable in each of these two categories should have homogeneity in variance. In other words, it should not be like this. Here in male data, the spread of the resting time scores is mean that is 6 plus or minus 2. In female data, the spread of the scores is mean plus or minus 1. There is no homogeneity of variance in these categories. Here, there is a homogeneity of variance. Independent sample t-test thus depends on formalities related to the data distribution across the categories in the sample. So, it is a distribution dependent test. Also, this is a parametric test. The test of the sample has to be normally distributed and should represent the population. These are the assumptions of independent sample t-test. To do the t-test in independent samples, these samples have to be homogeneous or we should have a homogeneity of variance in these two groups. The test of homogeneity tests a hypothesis. There is no significant difference between males data and females data variance. This is the hypothesis for independent sample t-test. There is no significant difference between males and females in resting time. We will see how to do the analysis. This is an open source software. Its name is Jamovi. This here. We can download it from the website of Jamovi directly, free of cost. See, this is the data on resting time. And this is the gender. To do independent sample t test, the option is here t tests. We have to click on that. Then independent sample t-test here we want to send gender towards a grouping variable this is an independent variable and resting time towards the dependent variable now we have to choose descriptives here already students t is chosen independent sample t is also called students t it's already here now we have to test the homogeneity also of the two groups so we have to check the homogeneity test so all the three are here the results came on the right side i'm copying the table of homogeneity of variance Pasting it in an Excel sheet, removing some of the columns which is not having any information.
this is Levin sir. This is P. This is the result of Levin's F test for equality of variance. Here, F is a coefficient that indicates whether the data is homogeneous or not. Next to the coefficient is P or probability. Here, P is greater than 0 0.05. That means there is no difference between male's data and female's data variance. In other words, the data is homogeneous. Copy the group descriptives and paste it in an Excel sheet. Merge and sender to make everything right. There are certain free columns here. I will delete those columns. The group descriptives is ready. Standard error we don't want to show in the table of independent sample T. So we will delete it. The independent sample T test table from here will copy and we will paste it here. And this is the T coefficient. This is the degree of freedom. And this is P. I'm first noting T here. And this column is for P. I'm removing the median. Copying this. This is the table we just prepared. This is the T 22.67. This is the most important value in this table. The T indicates if there is a significant difference between males and female in resting time. This is P or probability of T. If P is lesser than 0 0.05, then the difference between males and females in resting time is significant. P is 0 0.00, which is definitely lesser than 0 0.05. So, there is a difference. We have to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative. There is a significant difference between males and females in resting time. Now, who has a higher resting time? For this, we have to refer to mean. The mean for males is 7.98 and mean for females is 3.97. We are moving to another precise alternative. Males have higher resting time than females. Now, it is no more a hypothesis. It's our finding. Hope you enjoyed learning about independent sample t-test. If you have any questions, suggestions or recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.